I recently spent the weekend in Berlin with Rick Beato. Rick and I were lucky enough to get to meet Gerd Anker, the genius inventor of the Plek machine. If you've not heard of the Plek, it's an incredible tool that's revolutionising the way we optimise a guitar's performance. Now, luthiers do incredible work, but there's a limit to human accuracy, and that's where the Plek comes in. So here we are at Plek House. We're going to find out some things about it. It's um, used to do fret dressings and things like that. It's a very expensive machine. I don't know much about it, but I'm very curious to learn. So I invited Mary along, who's here visiting in Berlin, where I have my show tonight, to see how this thing works. All guitars suffer wear and tear as we play them, leading to problems like buzz areas on the fingerboard, fret wear, or an uneven fingerboard. You are a blues player and uh, you bend till... Major third or whatever. Yes. And, right. Then you need to grip uh, not to have too low frets because right. the string is uh, slide under your finger. Yeah. You don't want that. Right. Uh, so this all goes into to the situation where someone is uh, setting the virtual fret dress for the player. Okay. The reasons for that wear might be very different depending on what style of player you are. Jazz musicians and heavy metal shredders are likely to encounter different sets of issues. I'll show you the guitar with the twisted neck. You can see that. Yep. See how twisted it is? Yep. And by it's using way the, twisted. Yeah, by using the plaque machine you can compensate for that. You can compensate and for it, something that's that twisted? Even more. This is so cool that I'm here with Rick and what an opportunity to meet the inventor of the Plek machine. The, it's just, I don't know, very exciting to be here and I feel like I'm filming a documentary with Rick right now. Gerd Anker discovered a problem he needed to solve when he took his guitar to be serviced and was unhappy with the results. I had a guitar that played very bad, had a very high action and I had not really an idea what was going on, so I didn't like it. Okay. I went to a luthier and uh, he, he, he said, okay, I'm going to fix it. When I got the result afterwards, I was very unhappy. Okay. He took a block of sandpaper, got the strings off and sanded the frets. Yeah. And in that moment, I thought, wow, this is not really a good idea without knowing much about it. I was very unhappy and then I took my guitar and ran away and said, okay, I do it myself okay. because I've seen that. <laughs> and then I started working on the, on the neck by myself. Okay. And uh, yeah, and then I was just uh, playing the frets, playing again, and then I noticed, oh, it's not so easy because it was buzzing here, when I changed something, the neck relief, oh, it was buzzing there. So I start getting into the idea, how should a neck look like? And then, yeah, I got into the idea and built kind of a system in my, actually in my, my bedroom. A luthier will have to remove the strings to access the frets, completely changing the pressure on the neck. It's like trying to ice a cake before you've baked it. He applied his engineer's brain to improving the process. Now it makes sense too because you could have different wear. If you play a D chord on a guitar a lot and you have a dent in the second fret of the G string, for example, yes. but yet the second fret of the A string is has no dent in it, for example. Yes, so it's going to be right. dressed differently. Instead yeah. of dressing the fret equally all the way across, you don't necessarily need to do that. Yeah. With the Plek, Gerd has devised an incredibly accurate way of measuring the curvature of a guitar's neck, known as the neck relief, as well as the height and relief of the frets and the fret radius over the entire neck, all in microscopic detail. This computer-controlled device scans the guitar while it's strung and tuned to pitch, so you can map it out under its actual playing conditions. You can see the exact contours of the neck and frets, giving you the clearest possible indication of any microscopic imperfections, all while it's under tension. Okay, okay now, so now, it's, we, now it's scanned. It. Now the scan has been done, and, yep. and now we can see a picture. If you look at the guitar from this position, yep. you see these are the frets, the nut, as you know. Mm -hmm. and this is what you see here, the orange line. Yep. is 
is the guitar. And here is something, the green line is the target. The yeah. green line is what I'm taught you before, string gauge, uh, instrument type, player. Got it. Yeah. So from there we're calculating the green line, mm -hmm. the target. This is what you really want on your guitar to be happy that it plays fine. Okay. So that's the, that's the target. Yeah. So, so what we do here, uh, we put these things together. There is the measured instrument and then, then there is the target, uh, what we really want. The first place, this is where we put the target to, uh, to reference points, what okay. we call it, to the first fret and to the twelfth fret. So that is uh, where we, because normally it has nothing to do. It's a calculation here sure. and the instrument here. So we yeah. put it together. We can go through all the strings. Yeah, this is just for one string. Now we see the G string, for example. Oh, so that was just one string we were looking yes. at. Got As it. you remember, yes, it scanned. did scan every string. Yes. Uh, if the neck is is uh, moving in any direction, or the frets are, are higher or lower in any spot. Yes. Each string, yeah, in a different graph. Yep. This graph is what we call the virtual fret dress. The traditional way is just taking a sandpaper, a file, a stone, a whatever, to uh, get the fret Level. whatever leveled. Yeah. So we basically we do the same, but we can do it uh, in a virtual situation like this because I see where the target is yep. and I see the real frets. And by the way, here, these numbers, they show me the fret height. Okay. I, I know exactly the height of the fret. Okay. So, and what I can do here is, I can move these around. Means, if I, this is too low. Right, this is how you fix this. Yeah, I'm fixing it by uh, moving the target uh, around till the machine would everything would be the red line would be above every fret exactly got it after the scan has been completed you'll know whether the truss rod needs to be tightened and by how much whether the nut and bridge need to be adjusted or replaced overall and for every individual string what the overall shape of the fingerboard is what the neck relief is under each individual string and whether it is as good as it could be the height of the frets and whether there are any potential buzzing issues, whether the fret radius needs to be changed anywhere on the fingerboard. If there are buzzing issues, we can see how much fret material needs to be removed to achieve optimal playability. Or if the frets are so worn down that they need to be partially or completely replaced. The machine then identifies very precisely what amendments need to be made for perfect fretwork and makes them with a special cutting tool a process far more accurate than human hands could ever hope to achieve, ensuring perfect results when the instrument has been restrung. When you have set the virtual fret dress, this machine is able to dress the frets. I, I want to see it. How, do, how does this, I want to see this in action. The tool that runs in front of the... Yes. It, it puts a tiny little bit of oil on the frets to make a, a nice cut. And a very smooth cut. The PLEC also works on improving its own processes by conducting an additional calibration scan, so it records how accurately it made the amendments it set out to do. We scan again after dressing, okay. which is only important for what we call calibration of the machine, because now it is noticing how much it's supposed to take off and how much it did. And from there, we do little corrections, thousands of millimeters. It's just incredibly clever engineering. The PLEC is not a replacement for Luthia. The technician's interpretation of the scan results are just as important a part of the process, but it's an incredibly valuable addition to their toolbox, allowing a granular degree of accuracy and consistency, and taking some of the time-consuming labor out of the job. Okay, maybe I'll just put it here on the desk. 
Okay. You can see the tiny, tiny marks. Yeah. The, the two left, but they are almost done. Yeah. And if you take a bit of... This is the more difficult. Okay. Sometimes. See, it gets shiny very yeah. quickly. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't need much. They're already being used by companies like Gibson to ensure every guitar comes out of the factory in the best possible shape. Mary, what do you think? Brilliant. Brilliant. You're a genius. It's amazing to, I mean, to meet the creator of this machine that's so famous in guitar players. It's, um, Thank you. Yeah, real honour. Thanks so much to Rick for taking me along for the ride and to Gerd Anker for demonstrating his incredible invention and the Plek team for showing us around. As always, I'll be seeing you here very soon, so be sure to hit that subscribe button.